and gentlemen back to <coughs> today's great live stream today we're actually gonna end recording we actually gonna get back into hogwarts legacy the last time i left off we actually did learn two amazingly interesting spells we are going right the fuck back to this guy and we're gonna play this shit oh gosh the books are attacking me Yeah, this is what I look like. I think I must have been really tired when I made this character, but oh well. That's my common room. It's over here. Wait, is there anything over here? Right, let's go. Let's do some stuff. So I think I am enjoying this game a bit. I suppose some introductions are in order. I don't want to talk to people. Well, I suppose. No. Hello there. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Really? It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you too. Good luck today. Finally, some characters have finally actually talk. Like, I think I actually like this game now. <laughs> yeah, might want to think that again. No, who are you? Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? It's sex, so if she flies a lot. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Nice. Sorry, guys, I'm just cleaning up my glasses. I forgot to clean them before I start stream. I'm very smart when it comes to this type of shiz. Anyways. Alright, so um, let's get on to it. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. All right, she's kind of a, she's kind of a know-it-all. I guess all these Slytherins are know-it-alls. 
This guy's gonna sound like a Nordal too. I I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Wow. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Nice. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure-blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. Is blind. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. I think he is blind. It's the new fifth year Slytherin in here. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Hmm. Oh, Anthor. XFPS. Thank you for the bait of seven. Seven, um, seven followers. Well, and hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is BK Cyber. I am a variety content creator and streamer. And today we actually are playing Hogwarts Legacy. Just, um. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You, you only streaming? have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs mm. at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much oh, discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something actually... extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Ooh, what's this? I'm actually finding the game really interesting. Oh, what the hell is this? And now the book blew up in front of my face. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. year. Great, I gotta go to school again. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Okay, as I'm gonna say right now, um, Thank you, I Professor. really like this game. What do you mean it will keep track it's of interesting. what you're learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Sweet. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. So, I kind of like this, this game. Way. Um, uh, first of all, I have to thank, thank you for the raid. Second of all, I really like this game. This game is really interesting and really cool. Like, like I feel I like, student, you know... Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. It's good to play, you know. It's good to play games like this. It's good to... Good to enjoy like games like this because it's like the, the game that everybody wants. To practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. It's a game that everybody wants back in the day, you know. Do uh, keep let, up. Let me pause it for a minute. This game is something that people I bet a lot of people in the past really wanted to play. You know? Before the whole you know, stuff that went down. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna talk on it a lot because me and my number one rule in chat is always don't ever bring politics into gaming and don't bring like other people's stuff into gaming. When you're sitting down enjoying a game, you are enjoying a game and in indulging into the adventure of the game. Trust me, this game is really good for the 
it's really interesting right now. I played an hour of it and I really enjoyed it. And now playing more of it, it makes me feel like, yeah, this is awesome. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Ooh. This statue depicts the Kiple, a shape shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes form. Have a long mad horse. Horse, the largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yo, Anthro, if you, uh, trust me, Anthro. I don't know if you have a PS5 or you wait for the, or or you have a PS4. But when it comes out for the, when it comes out later this year, hopefully it runs good for the PS4 and the Xbox, the old, the old gen consoles, so people, so old gen gamers can have a good time. Gaming, like, this is something that I honestly really want to play and I really want to enjoy. Ooh, what the hell? And, you know. Oh, look. So my field guys, mm, challenges. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I got 1% of field guy pages. Oh, okay. This. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside <laughs> and outside of the castle. Yes, thank you. But yeah, it's actually interesting to play this game. I played an hour of it, and yo, I was about to fall asleep the Saturday night I was gonna play it until I started going fighting knights and shit. I was like, wait, hold on, am I fighting knights already? Oh, this is crazy. Y'all just definitely, y'all didn't even teach me anything. Y'all like, yeah, we're gonna teach you here. Learn this, learn Lu, Louis Nesso. I think that's the light up spell. And, um, Revelio. Revelio. And they're like, oh gosh, okay, cool. Yeah, let's do this. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Nice. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I believe it's Central you can get Hall. Almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Nice. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Hmm, that's interesting. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Nice. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Can I get, um, can I get Professor Snape in the class? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course.
Hmm. Interesting. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. <laughs> hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Oh, no. Speak of the devil, Professor oh. Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very yeah. well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Yes, Might you do. I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Yes, Come professor. and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I talk to Professor Fig now. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Hmm. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Which is yes, true. Well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold clever it and have a look. Enchantment? Clever enchantment? Oh, I want to see it. I want to see it. Mm. Nice. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right, let's go. Let's do shit. Time to go and uh, 
go do what we gotta do. Mm. Back, back, you whore! I've no time for idle chatter. Oh, hello there. Revelio. Ooh. Portrait of so. Caragon. So Caragon was was allegedly friends with Merlin himself, and as such, such became a strong knight of the Round Table. Although he is really known to the Wizarding world, he is famous for his defeat of the Wyvern of Ray, and now spends his day challenging students to duels. <laughs> That's an interesting one. I ca I kind of wanted to give the uh, the Mamel voice on that one, but it kind of failed. Not a typical failure of a Mamer voice. Uh, get to my first class. Revelio. Hmm. Could there be something wrong here? Oh. Revelio. Yeah. Where am I going? Also to go down. What ho? <laughs> oh, his name is So Cadogan. Um, let's see something. Hold on. Maybe a chest up here. See, here we go. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Revelio. Thirteen, twenty one, three. get this puzzle now let's go to chomp class what are you up to now we're definitely going back here later guys and we'll figure this out i'll figure out this puzzle and when i come back later right now i gotta get to class before i'm late Yeah, say it though. See. Oh. 
That's cool. That's interesting. Cool grouping. Alright, time to go to class before I'm late. There we go. I'll go up here. <laughs> yep, just... Just like how you would expect Hogwarts to be. us don't necessarily want him to get back to the letter all right let's begin the quests let's not uh let's not dilly dally we got quests to go quests to start games to play let's do this here behind you there is an open seat here thank you hello i am Nettie. so you are the new student have you met professor ronan yet <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Oh, no. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you... Even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Mm hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. There we go. Learning a new spell now. Let's go. Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. <laughs> Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Really? After me. After you? Huh. 